my friends, I have made it back to Branson, Missouri, and I'm here at the Branson Landing going to give you a travel guide to the landing. So when you come here, you'll know what to see, what to eat, and what family fun activities you can let your kids do, or if you don't have kids, you can still have fun. Because look at this place. It's Branson. It's awesome. Let's go. Pick your season and Branson will showcase it, especially at the Branson Landing. Fountain shows, zip lines, delicious restaurants, and stores galore. Oh, and did I mention the drive here is pretty, with the Ozark Mountains around every turn showcasing the beauty of Missouri, as well as the memorably steep drives and trucks and pre-2000s cars that struggle up those hills. <laughs> anyway, if you travel to Branson, Missouri, you have to make a stop at the Branson Landing. It's a must-see for visitors of all ages. Plenty of shopping, of course, food, and is centrally located in Branson, between a lot of resorts and every show and site on Highway 76 so there's basically no reason not to go. Okay, let's start with a walking tour from where you'll likely park. Chances are likely that you'll park on this parking lot, the side with Paula Deen's, Belks, and Parakeet Pete's uh, giant hot air balloon. So when you start here, those is, this is like the cornerstone of this side. And then as you walk through, you will see over 100 interesting and unique stores. The landing is very walkable with its brick walkway being less than a mile long. So, we saw one end has the department store Belk, but what about the other end? If you guessed Bass Pro, then you are a Midwestern expert. And if you're really into Bass Pro, and you haven't made your way up to Springfield to see the original granddaddy of all Bass Pros, you must take the 15 minute drive north to see it. The other side of the landing is cornerstoned by Bass Pro Shops, and if you keep going, behind me, you can literally find every sort of shop you can possibly imagine. And when I say every kind of shop you can imagine, like literally, let's let's just take a circle of the shops behind me. Of course, first we have Best Pro Shops, which you can see from the boats there. We have a scene on TV. We have a popcorn place. Shopping galore. We have sports, candy, a five and dime general store. It's a pretty good circle, and that's not even all of those down the not even all those down the way. Definitely come here if you feel like shopping or browsing or window shopping or just enjoying Branson. Okay, now I don't plan on going over every single store because there's a lot. See, that's a lot. But I'll showcase some highlights and then you can have fun seeing new unshown stores when you actually arrive here. Sounds like a deal? Deal. The landing is usually busy-ish. I'm here on a Wednesday afternoon. It's about 4.30. And um, it's medium full. I've been here definitely when it's empty, but that was kind of like in January. And I've been here when it's quite crowded. So it just depends on what season you hit it. And um, of course, what time of day and everything. But it's kind of empty right now, you see behind me. But this way there's more people, so. But there's tons of fun shops, to fancy shops, to having your family take old timey photos. And you know it can't be Southwest Missouri and Branson without some old time photos. <laughs> Let's move on to the restaurants. As of the time I'm filming this, there are 17 restaurants and I do not believe that includes all of the like ice cream shops, it's actual sit down restaurants. So there's 17, two of which are behind me. And of course, Paula Deen's. There's most anything here your tastes desire. From Guy Fieri's, Fiori's, to Joe's Crab Shack, to Saltgrass Steakhouse, to Dramatic Pizza. Although I have never ate at this pizza place, it is a uh, very unique which makes me want to try it, and not at the same time. Although I have never dined here, I've heard it's really good and it has a very cute chair in the front. Plus, it has great views of the fountains behind and, I mean, come on, it's a very happy looking one. So, if you've been here, let me know if it's any good, and if you haven't been here, it looks good, so. I think it's a win-win either way. Ice cream is always a popular choice as I always see many people window shopping with a cone in their hand. One thing to note is that you'll see all of these apartments and so there's a lot of people that actually live here so it's interesting. I don't know if I would want to live here but it's kind of cool. It's always lively I guess. Well, maybe. Here's a quick note. So, the landing's walkway in the middle is nice brick, but you'll have to keep an eye out if you're the type of person, like me, who likes walking down the middle of things because there's a little train and a trolley that runs from one end of the landing to the other, and they don't like stopping for tourists standing lost in the middle. 
So, as long as you keep your eyes out, walk down the middle all you can, but if they're there, stay to the side. And while you're looking out for trains and trolleys, don't forget to look at the landscaping and flowers. They are always happy too. Finally, the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. Preparing the Krabby Patty! Anyway, everybody loves the fountain shows, especially at night, and they have concerts here on occasion, so make sure to check when there's going to be concerts so you can enjoy it just as much. Now the boardwalk along Taney Como Lake beside the landing is 1.5 miles long, and the fountains don't just throw water around. There's fire, lights, and music too. This $7.5 million attraction shoots water 120 feet in the air along with cannon blasts and choreographed to music and lights. The people who made these fountains also produced shows for Disney in Orlando, Universal City Walk in California, and even some fountains in Las Vegas. Christmas time is an especially great time to see it. You can find the schedule on BransonLanding.com. Now you've digitally seen the Branson Landing. Time to go visit the landing in real life and see those other stores and restaurants I wasn't able to mention here. And shops here do change, so there might be a brand new store too. I hope you've enjoyed my quick travel tour of the Branson Landing, and go check out my other video if you haven't already seen that about 10 of the best things to do in Branson, including the Branson Landing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Happy travels!